Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today we're back here for another speed build and today we're going to go ahead and create this cosy family home. So if you'd like to go ahead and download this for yourself, it is up in the gallery now. My origin ID is RealThomasTV1 and I'll also go ahead and put a link in the description to the online gallery if you want to go ahead and download the build that way. So this is on a 30 by 20 lot. Now as you can see we are actually on a 40 by 30 lot to start with. Now I don't normally do this where I end up like switching the lot halfway through or well it wasn't even halfway through literally just started <laughs> um but i kind of just thought it was way too big for what i had in mind and that's kind of weird for me saying that a 40 by 30 lot is too big because no lot's ever too big for me because i love mansions um but you know just for what i had in mind for this particular build and um, doing a 40 by 30 just wasn't really working out that well so i just went ahead and moved it to the one right next to it actually the 30 by 20 and this is in Willow Creek, it's in the neighbourhood where the goth household is. Um, it's probably one of my favourite neighbourhoods in game. Um, now that we have you know, new worlds and stuff, maybe not, but you know, from at least the base game worlds, I would definitely say that this one is my favourite um, in terms of neighbourhoods as well. Because it just has a lot here without having to travel. So there's like the garden area, which you can go to if your sims want to kind of you know get money from that or harvest things. There's also the chess tables, which is great for skill building. There's also a public bathroom over in that area as well. And also in that other area, there is also like a kitchen climbing frame sort of thing so there's loads of things to do without even having to travel which I always think nice when neighborhoods have that because I, I don't know why but when I play the game which I know I don't play the game that often anyways it's been months since I've actually played the game since I'm building all the time uh, but when I do I'm not really one of those people that likes to travel that often I normally just try to find things within that neighborhood that I can do without having to go through another loading screen so when there's those little you know bits and pieces here and there it really adds to that neighborhood so that's probably why this one is one of my favorites Um, so in terms of the color scheme today I did go for blue on the exterior and I kind of paired it with this roof texture which is kind of like an orangey red color now I think looking back at it it's a little bit of an odd combination but at the same time I'm really glad that I did that because um it was starting to turn out when I was doing this like this is going to be another one of my speed builds that's just going to look the same as some other ones uh, but I feel that that added a really nice bit of differentiation from other types of builds I've done before so um I'm really glad that I included that um and this build in total has four bedrooms is it yeah four bedrooms and three bathrooms and um, I'm not actually too sure on how much the price came to but you know like I said it is up in the gallery so it will tell you there I'm assuming it's going to be under 200,000. I wouldn't imagine it'd be any more than that. Um, if it is, then I don't know how it's that much. But um, yeah, so we're just working on the backyard area here. Now, you know, it is pretty small since we did move it from that 40 by 30 lot. Um, so I did just go ahead and pave the whole thing and I just put a load of different things in there. So it's like a little, not really a greenhouse, but I use that little grass roof grass did I just say grass roof <laughs> glass roof there we go uh textured little structure thing from get together and I put some planter boxes under there and the other kind of um you know the bee box and the flower arrangement table that sort of thing I put under there um I did a few kind of outdoor seating areas a barbecue and there's also a little swing thing for the kids. Now, um, I did actually do kids rooms in today's build, which I haven't really been doing a lot um, the last couple of months. I've been keeping my uh, builds neutral, as I've said a million times. <laughs> um, but, you know, since I did that family farmhouse build, which was maybe a week ago or so from when this goes up, um, maybe two weeks now, I did like loads of kids rooms in that build and stuff. And it was actually really nice to kind of go back to that since I haven't done it in such a long time and do really personalised and it, like just a really personalised build and a really cluttered build. So that's what we did here as well. So what in terms of what I did is that there is actually a, uh, a kids girl room and I think there's also two teen boys rooms. Now that's just what I had in mind. Of course, if you want you know if you have a different type of sim and you want them to have a particular type of room that it doesn't have to be for those specific type of sims that's the reason I don't do these personalized rooms that often because I can't guarantee that your household that you're playing with is going to fit this house um, you know perfectly right so I don't always do that you know that's why I kind of went for neutral builds but that's what the type of rooms I've got in this house uh, but of course feel free to change it up and um, and also I've just realized that I did put a cat like stuff in here for a cat as well but I totally forgot to put a litter box in so I'm gonna have to go ahead and quickly do that change that before I upload it to the gallery but um you will see it missing in the footage here I don't actually do a lot of um kind of builds that accommodate for pets I just never really tend to do it for some reason I don't know if it's because I don't have a pet in real life that's maybe why I don't do it or I don't really know actually um so that's also you know another thing I've been trying to include in a few recent builds such as our family farmhouse one again and um, I did go ahead and make that for a cat um so I did manage to put the food bowl in and also a um like a few cat toys in the living room as well but apart from that I did forget the litter which is really annoying so I'm gonna have to go back and put the litter tray in 
so this is the kitchen here and um, it's actually a fairly decent size it's also got a bit of a weird layout as you can kind of see and um, so it's kind of got the main part of the kitchen there and then it has that little bit next to the back door too with like the coffee machines on and stuff and um, it was just kind of how the the floor plan worked it made it look like that and um, so that's what I did and then also next to this glass mess that word up again glass roof section here I did go ahead and put the dining table under it with those nice big windows as I thought it'd be a nice place to put that and also just for reference I'm doing this voiceover on the 2nd of June I think this is going up on the 5th of June Wednesday and um, I'm not too sure though I'm just kind of saying that for reference just in case this goes up way later than what I plan on and um, because I'm pretty sure that we're going to be getting some sort of announcement for a pack or something like that and um, at EA play which is well it'll be the week of this video is going up probably and um, so because of that you know the schedule may change around as if there's any news or something I might do a video of that and um, so you know I'm kind of just that's kind of take a little bit of priority so you know I'm just kind of having to move my schedule around to fit around EA Play and stuff um, and if there's going to be any exciting news and make a video about it so you know just for reference in case this video goes up really late and the other reason as well is that if I talk about things uh, you know regarding upcoming pack like my thoughts on what we might get into something um, and then if that pack actually does happen or something else happens and I'm talking about something that may not make sense that's why I also give a reference date for when I do the voiceover <laughs> anyway so this little room here is just the hallway nothing too exciting about it and as you can see, yeah, I'm bringing in the side and from the exterior. I do that in a lot of my builds, whether I'm using like a brick wall as a feature wall, or if I'm using the side in, or whatever exterior wall covering. I sometimes bring that inside as well, as just to kind of switch things up from the main colour scheme. Now, I know I said that this um, build is like a cosy family home. Now, looking back at it, maybe all the white and neutral colours in the main part of the home takes away from that a little bit, but you know, it's still nicely decorated, so I suppose it kind of goes well with that, you know, sort of theme. Um, so this is the child's girl's room now of course if you don't want to be for a girl that's absolutely fine it's just an idea um, and I'm kind of just putting a few different things in I imagine that maybe a little bit older well I mean we can't we don't really have preteens so you know you can go whichever storyline you want but I'm kind of thinking maybe that have that computer desk to do their homework on so they're not going to be as young as a toddler though um, and I'm also making a little sort of um thing there with the shelves and the toddler I, I never know what they're called like these toddler stuff sticks those things I don't know what you call them I just keep calling them sticks because I can't think what they're called those po like pool things I guess um, and I kind of just put them on either side of the shelves to make it look like it's like a ladder a shelf sort of thing and um, I don't even know how you would describe that really but I've done it a few times and I've seen it in somebody else's speed build I can't think who it was but um, I've, I've done it a while ago as well so uh, we're just working on putting a few decorations in here I always find it difficult when it comes to doing kids rooms and builds since I'm not really used to doing all the colour and clutter and stuff like that and um, so I sometimes struggle with it but I'm really happy how that one turned out and then this here is the study again pretty small but it's got what you need in it it's also got a stereo there if you want to listen to that as you're doing homework or work or whatever you want um, and yeah so nothing too special about the study though and I always put a study in my builds um, the other thing though as well since I did move it from a 40 by 30 to a 30 by 20 I couldn't actually fit in a garage which means there's no gym in this build um, because if I do a garage in a build I always make it into a gym mostly and um, so there wasn't really the space to do on this lot so you know and um, if you want to maybe kind of take out something in the study and maybe put like a gym equipment item in there since that's something that you can you know sometimes find in the studies like random gym equipment and skill building activities so you know you could change something out if you need something like that there's also a lot of porch space in today's build as well both on the back and front and um, so if you want to kind of replace something for another activity or something like that then feel free to do that as well and um, so the landscaping is very very basic in today's build and um, since the whole backyard area is um, paved with stone tiles there wasn't any grass area in the back so I only managed to put actual plants and stuff in the front which you know nothing wrong with that and um, it's just a little bit different from what I normally do since I normally go plant crazy in my builds and um, so there's just a few plants here and there at the front but not really much at the back apart from a couple of trees and um, also managed to fit in a hot tub since the um, the kind of just the back porch had enough room for it so I thought it'd be a nice little touch to include since I wasn't actually able to fit a pool in today's build. Now I always put pools in my builds, I don't know what it is but I have just always do that um, and you know I, I don't really know why I do it though and it's not really like you know something that everybody has in real life anyway it's kind of luxury things sometimes um, but I always put it in my build so you know I suppose it kind of makes it a bit more realistic not having one for a change in today's build um, but instead I kind of make up for it in, you know for another outdoor activity I did go ahead and put that uh, hot tub there so this is a little glass roof sort of thing I was talking about before this little structure from uh, get together I'm not actually too sure what that item is called though I always kind of just say glass roof 
structure thing from get together that's literally how i describe it <laughs> um so i'm using that there now if you want to go ahead and put a greenhouse in um because if you have seasons you may want to do that it doesn't actually function as a greenhouse since it's not an enclosed room um so you could go ahead and fit one in there it might be you know a bit small and cramped but if you want that then that's fine um and then also i'm making like a little kitchen area here with the um with the barbecue since it isn't a pool I had a little bit more room to kind of play around with so I did go ahead and kind of make a little kitchen area there uh, with the barbecue and those counters um, and I just went ahead and put a few more activities in not really a lot since you know it looks like there's a lot of space but really there wasn't that much to fit in and um, since a lot of the items are big like you know the um, little climbing frame thing that takes up a lot of space so I couldn't really fit a bunch of stuff in but you know there are a few things here and there um, and yeah so also another thing there isn't any laundry in today's build now um, I never just for reference I know some people have asked this but I don't put laundry in my build now uh, since I just kind of stopped playing it with myself um, and like my own gameplay so I ended up not putting it in my builds either um, but sometimes what I might do is kind of put it you know here and there in the build um, let me know what you think about that though and I try and make like a common sort of consensus, I guess, from what you kind of think in the comment section. Do you play with laundry or not? Um, would you rather see my builds or not? Or just leave it how it is without them? So we're nearing the end of the build here. We're just going around doing some finishing touches um, on the exterior. Well, actually, we're not near the end of the build. We've got two more rooms to do. I don't know how I managed to miss, miss that. But yeah, we've got two more rooms to do. Um, so we've got this one here, which, you know, the dark kind of blue makes me think of like a teens room and um, but of course that's up to you um, and yes yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this voice over up here I really hope you enjoyed in the comment section down below let me know about what you thought of this build if you have any more suggestions for other builds or anything else that you want to see next on the channel that'd be really helpful to hear leave a like share and subscribe if you haven't and you can go ahead and download this build from the gallery my origin ID is real Thomas TV one and like I said earlier there is also a link in the description to the online gallery if you kind of find it easier to um, download things that way and just in case you don't know what that gallery link is for, uh, if you actually logged in on the online gallery, if you click download, once you go into your game and look in your library, the build will be there. So if it's easier for you to do it that day, that's why I put the gallery links in there, just in case anybody didn't know what that was all about. And yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!